So welcome to another video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander. And I'm Grant. Ho, ho, ho. Which is Merry time. Oh, God, this is making it in. Uh, so welcome to our, uh, what is this called now? It's Holiday Buyer's Guide. Okay. Because we actually have some codes this year. Yes. We were given some codes, so. Because I think in prior years we've done more of like a, hey. These are good games. These are good Buy games. You, and yeah. then like send this to your spouse. Yeah. So you can do that for this video as well. There's However, nothing preventing you from doing that. This still. this list of things, uh, Grant and the support of most of the publishers that you're gonna hear in this video yep. have curated a bunch of discount codes and special links, which up front will be posted in the video description. So I'll probably say them as we go through them, but before be you, before you ask, and it's yeah. like, oh, where are the codes? You didn't put it on the screen. They're right there. They're down in the video description. <laughs> the ones that can be clickable will be. Other ones, it's just a code that you paste in at yeah. checkout. So just know that's what you're getting from this. Um, I think a lot of the games that we're going to talk about today, we have either played or we have played some of the games from the publisher. I, I think a majority of what we have here, we have played. A couple of them I have, we have not. We've tried a couple but of times. We'll, but, but, so if you yeah. want more information on a lot of what we're gonna talk about, um, there are videos on the channel, or there's videos upcoming on the channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, I, I've enjoyed uh, us having done this for the past couple of years, but it's I don't fun. know, for longer than that, you've been doing it on the written blog. Yeah. So, for those who are more, um, you know, who can read? Yes, literate. Let's be honest. Let's put it that way. Uh, you can go onto theplayersaid.com. The buyer's guide's there again with all the links and all of the codes pasted in text. If you want to read more yeah. and like email that out to all of your friends and they can buy you all these games, that's also an option that you have. So, without further ado, let us jingle all the way into our list of games. And Grant's gonna kick us off. That was good, I, I liked it. We're gonna, was I'm gonna... <laughs> that was off the cuff, I really liked that. Uh, all right, so our first publisher we're gonna highlight is Sound of Drums. Sound of Drums. Now, Sound of Drums is a Swiss-based company. Yes. A Swiss-German company. Uh, and they are a newish company of, of the past couple of years. Uh, and a brand new game of theirs that they have is 1793 Patriots and Traitors. Which we have not played. No, yet. Long, but we just we just got this a hit in. This is a, a one to five player game, I believe. Yep, uh, about the French Revolution. And it's card driven, it's a card driven game. Yes, now, the, so they also, this was <laughs> one huge. Of, one of the biggest boxes in war gaming. <laughs> uh, they, I think we, we use this as a bunker from time to time when we're being attacked. Yes. So this is um, a game that they publish. Uh, so this is Assault Sicily 43, Kayla uh, Beachhead. And so this is a design by Assault Games. Yeah. They partnered with Sound of Drums. I, I think, yeah, I think they partnered with them for publication. For public, and the printing. So the yeah. boxes, the distribution, it's all a Pretty step amazing. up from Assault, the, the original two games, which we have as well. So these are kind of two of their latest offerings. This is a big ta two-player tactical game. And there's a video on the channel about this. We did a preview video like a year and a half ago when the Kickstarter was active. Yes. And then, the, you know, we, we also did a video on the original kind yeah. of iteration of that. So you can, you can look into those. And I very well. much love this system because it uses different dice, which represent different types of attacks, different even ranges. They can be upgraded or degraded, just really fun. And when this is wrapped, it looks very impressive under the Christmas tree. You might wonder, huh, why did someone put a truck under my tree? <laughs> so what is the code for sound yes, drums? Yes, the code. I knew you were going to ask me, and I let it close out. <laughs> the code is TPA2024, and you'll get 10% off. And is that store-wide for them? Uh, on From their online, on online store. store. So anything you can find on there, and Sound of Drums has a lot of uh, very different types of games up there. they got big Napoleonics games, they got some Ancients games, yep. all, all that kind of stuff going They on. definitely are an emerging publisher that I think are doing a lot of very unique and interesting games, and... I think they've got a lot more on and they're the based, slate. And they're based out of Europe. We like the, I, I like the Europe resurgency of wargaming that's yeah. going on over the past few years as well. Yeah. So Sound of Drums. Yeah, check those out. Okay, the next one we have is Conflict Simulations Limited. We put those over okay, there. So we have a couple games from them. And we have played more, but this is just kind of yeah. what we had on hand. 
Oh, you know what? I've got like Korea on the show. Oh yeah, we've got I a love couple. That game. Uh, so here we have the Great Northern War, which is a trick-taking area the, area move game. This game was really good. This I enjoyed is, that this very This is much. a very slick little game yep. on uh, the Thirty Years' War between uh, effectively Russia and Sweden. Uh, really, when really When Sweden cool. was like a serious was like power. an imperial power yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's pretty cool. Really good game. And it comes in this cute little tiny box, almost a stocking stuffer. There you go. Uh, and then we have this Resorgimento. one. Which I do not, this is new, yeah, right? So this is their long century operations series. This is kind of, this game is contained in their bigger Solferino quad. Oh, okay. But they've done a one-off, smaller battle, a little less counter density and I bought it because I'm interested in it. This is like the uh, 1859 campaigns of the Franco-Prussian War? Is that what that one 1859 is? 1859 is before, no. That's, that's 1870s, before. isn't it? I'm drawing this a blank. This is the Second War of Italian Unification. You know, that go. conflict that we all know everything yeah. about. No offense to my Italian yeah. friends, but I'm but here it's, to it's, learn. Yeah, it's, it's cool. <laughs> and actually, CSL has a lot of really good little yes. war games. We've played multiple games from their catalog. Yeah, the, the, so they have Korea, the Forgotten War, which is really good. Um, and then we played, oh gosh, what was that World War One game called? Kotets. Blah, Something, blah, blah, blah. oh, Cotteret, yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. That's it was the British rearguard action at that battle, yeah, uh, holding the Germans off. Yes. That was a blast. It was really, really, really interesting. I enjoyed the cavalry on that because I was like, ooh, let's outflank you, let's outflank you, and then your machine guns were just gunning me down. And then they, they also have, the, I think, another of their popular series is the Deimos system, the Destroy All Monsters, which yep. is kind of big hex encounter East Front World War II games. And there's three of those, and those are quite popular too. Yeah. So, but CSL. Yeah, uh, and, and they have a code. I gotta turn my screensaver off. Conflict simulations code is player's aid. And that will get 15% off their online store. 15% store wide. Anything. And and I will tell you, so they're, they're, I think it's kind of print on demand style yes. with a lot of their stuff. Yep. Their store is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, like you might not ever have heard of CSL and you'll go on their website to use the 15% off and it will be daunting of yeah, how they, much stuff they've got on there. Probably twenty plus published games. I, it feels like it's even more than yeah. that. Yeah. Like when I was scrolling their website, I'm like, oh. And they've got a lot of development that they have on there, but yeah. Yeah. Ray's Ray's a pretty decent designer. He did, uh, as you know, the game that we love from Rostov Forty One. Oh yes, which is the, an SES game by a different yep. publisher, but really good. MMP, but uh, yeah, they have a lot of games. Check them out. Fifteen percent off with that player's aid code. All right. All right, our next one is Form Square Games, and Form they only Square have one games. game. A new company, but A they have company. more games in development. So this is Bonaparte's Eastern Empire from Form Square Games. And it's the Limits of Glory series. Yes, and the Limits of Glory track is the interesting part of this yep. game, for sure. And there's some, there's some very cool, unique kind of movement aspects to it and what they've really tried to kind of do something from the ground up, which I really liked. There is a full review of this on the channel. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people have not heard of this game, uh, but it, this was uh, Andrew Rourke's kind of first outing and it's their first published game, but they were gracious enough to provide a code so that you could check it out. Yep, and that code is players aid 15 will get you 15% off just this game because that's all they the have. only one that they have currently. So they just did a successful Kickstarter for the second entry in the series, and then it has a smaller kind of sub entry. So they'll, when that fulfills, they will have three games. I, my guess is it's probably months and months away. But yeah, these are made and uh, designed out of the UK. So if again, if you're kind of in the UK, going to get yourself some support some local I, business too. I, I enjoyed this game even though you literally destroyed me as Napoleon. Which is kind of the point of the game. Yeah, but it was fun. Yes. I, I had a good time doing what we were doing and I, I've actually written quite a few little entries on kind of the different actions and the yeah, they, so, they've got some very novel mechanical cool. things in this game that were really cool. Yeah, very much enjoyed that one. Okay, our next uh, publisher is Phalanx. Okay. I can't remember what we had so there. So Phalanx, we have Iron Blood, Snow and Mud. I love this game. Uh, Just a little simple abstract. We also have the brand new Purple, Purple Haze, Haze, which you so might not good. have heard of. They Aren't we going to try to play this later yes, tonight? Yes, we are. They did uh, the fifth or, and or fourth. I think, it's the fifth I, I think this is the fifth printing of, of Successors. successors. 
And then we also have to have uh, Race to the Rye and keep them rolling as well. There's, they do big, big old boxes. I'm waiting on Brett Wilder still. Oh, Brett Wilder was so dang good. It was so good. It was just a fun to play. But uh, Phalanx... Actually, Successors was really good, too. Oh. We very much enjoyed that. Successors is incredible, but Successors has been around for a long time under, yeah. like, three or four different publishers. So that, and, their edition was really nice. And I think we've talked about trying to get a five-player game of that in the next Buckeye Game Fest. Yes. And is I've, my mic on? It is, yeah. Okay. And we've already had people who want to join that. Yeah, I've already had people reach out, <laughs> so that's cool. But their, their code will get you 50% off the following games. Iron Blood, Snow, and Mud... But there's other games. So those are good games, but you're going to need to check out that list. Yeah, so they have a clickable link, which will be in the video description, and it will take you to a curated site, which yep. includes Iron Blood, Snow Mud, as well as some of their other titles. Yep. That will be up to 50% off. 5-0. Yep. That's yep. a big savings. But this game's very good. I very much enjoyed that. Full review of that yep. on a channel. Had a good time well. with that. Next, we're going to talk about Nuts Publishing. Ooh. One of my French favorite company. publisher names to say, too. It just... Is awesome. Okay, we have lots of games going on here. Yes. So we have things like Fitna, which is a bit, pretty big game. We are coming Nineveh. Nineveh, which is a unique tactical game. Phantom Fury 2nd Edition. They did the 1st Edition as well, I believe, which is a solitaire game. And it's very, very, very good. And then we have 300 Earth and Water, which is volume 1 of their Combat Ration series, all small two-player games. Yep. We've played Port Arthur. We played recently Guerra Claire, which is the third one coming out. That Combat Ration series... Which 300, Port Arthur, say that name again. Gara Claire. Gara Claire. I, they're just fun and interesting little small war games. Yeah, Love and, they, and they do quite a lot with the little that they have in there, which yep. I think is extremely impressive. Those designs are really, really good. So this is a French company, um, so it might take a little bit longer for delivery, but uh, and, and one other comment, now. One other comment I would have about Nuts. We met uh, Florent, who is the owner of the, uh, of the company, and... Very nice guy. They oh, have a the, lot the of really cool designs that are in the works. That Gary Claire is one. Um, we also met James Buckley, who kind of, I think, assists them. He's not, he, he does development work. In development. Um, but th they have really good games. Now, we have not played these two. I have clipped this one, organized it, read the rules a couple of times. We've just never had a good opportunity because it's a I've been walked player through game. this. And but we need to play this one because yeah. everyone speaks very... I've stickered the blocks, everything's ready to go, we just need to play it. But th their code, and this is a little hard one, TPA20 with a number sign. With a hashtag sign. Hashtag sign, yeah. 2024. Interesting, you're younger than me, you're going to call it hashtag. I know it's a hashtag, but... I know it's a number sign, but when it, people saw it calling it hash, it was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that will get you 20% off the following games. Phantom Fury 2nd Edition, Italia, which is one of their World War One games, just came out. We have a copy, just haven't done anything with it. Port Arthur, 300 Earth and Water. I got Port Arthur on a shelf, I should have got it. One we don't have, I'm Not Afraid. Um, that's on that list as well. We Are Coming Nineveh, Stalingrad Roads, which we own and just haven't which It's also on the shelf yet. right there. That's a big World War II hex and game. Saigon 75, which was a really good, very tough for the NVA, yeah. but a very interesting, unique, card-driven style game, and then Fitna. So those are the only ones that you're going to get uh, that 20% off. So give those a look. Definitely worth, uh, I think, worth your time. Yeah, but a lot of those, if you search, if you put like Nuts Publishing into the search bar of like our, we our yeah, yeah. website and or um, YouTube channel, you'll pull up videos on a lot of those games. Well, I think almost every one of these we've unboxed. And yeah. if we haven't played them yet, it's just because we don't have uh, all the time. The next one is Capstone Games, which oh, was the one uh, game. And this was the only game that they offered, which is, is fine. Uh, the code is TPA2024 will get you 30% off Watergate. And this is a small CDG, very tight. Mm -hmm. It's in a, It has similar ideas, although it's executed quite differently from things like Twilight Struggle. So getting that in a really small box. Yeah. Um, this was a really, really good game. 30% off is a killing because this is not a particularly well, expensive game. I, anyway. I want to say it's like a $35 game normally. So this is going to get it to you for like in the low 20s. Matthias Kramer, great guy, by the way. We've played... And, and brilliant designer. Yeah, several of his designs. We played with him last year. This game was really, really fun. Very much enjoyed that. And what was the code? 
Okay, the code, ah, I scrolled up, sorry, TPA 2024. You'll notice a trend. Most of them kind of did TPA something, which is cool. That's cool. Uh, Fort Circle Games. That's Fort our, Circle Games, yes. And this code will only get you a discount on the fabulous Votes for Women, which I believe is in its second edition. They, yes. they did a reprint. Which is like one of the two games that they currently make. Anyway. Right. <laughs> uh, Shores of Tripoli is the other one that they have, I think. That's actually finished and Yeah, published. that's finished. I, I want to say they did a reprint on that, but it's not. But Votes for Women, fantastic game on the suffragist movement in the United States of America in the early 1900s. We play this on, I play it a lot on Rally the Truth. Yeah, this is one of those just games I've played game. like over 50 times now. Yeah. And it's just like a fun game. But, and you know, this is a, a, kind of one of those area control games. So yep. it's much more amenable to be played with like family members because it's not yeah. like shooting each other. And the rules are pretty simple. Very, very simple. That code is votes 15 to get 15, I think it's dollars off votes for women. Okay. Is that a dollar sign? That is a that, dollar yeah, sign. Yeah, so that's a straight yep. dollar off value, yep. not a percentage off value, which yep. is that's also nice too. All right, our next one is Draco Ideas, and I only brought two of their smaller games. Um, we've played a couple of others uh, yes. of their games that I very much enjoyed. Uh, so we have Scope Panzer, which there I, is a review for this going to hit the channel at the, next, the end of the month. Yeah. Uh, I played this with my wife. This is a two player card game where you literally build the battlefield with cards. They are flipped over and you have to kind of seek out the enemy. And she enjoyed it very much. We played it like three times back to back and and then we did a, a video review. Very, this is like a $20 game. Yeah. And there's multiple in the series. That's the newest. And so we got 1212 Las Navas de Tolosa, which is... That's a fun word. Las Navas de Tolosa. I love saying it. Uh, love saying it. This is a game, this is like a That's two, probably offensive. Oh, well. It's a two-player, almost abstract tactical yeah, game with agreed. the way that the movement works, almost chess-like. Really, really, really neat. Again, on a topic you've not heard. Uh, they also did Tetrarchia, which was really oh, good. Oh, that was a great game. It's an extremely fun little co-op game. And the follow-up to Tetrarchia is called Hispania, and it's same system. They've added some things. It had a Kickstarter like six months ago, eight months ago, so maybe by... First quarter next year, that'll be out. But a fun game. This has a video game. on the channel. This has one upcoming. Coming, yep. And that code is AID, AID20 for 20% off everything on their site. <laughs> and they sell a lot of different publishers' games on their site. They also have Spanish yes. translations of those games. So you can find, you definitely can find some good stuff on their, on their site. Next? Yes. Our last code, <clears throat> and then we'll we'll just do a couple of other great games here. This one. So Catastrophe Games gave us a code TPA2024 for 15% off their entire online store. This game that I have here is The Landing Gallipoli 1915 by Joe Schmidt. Very simple card game where you, you build the track where you're trying to get to the end uh, out of cards, and then you move your guys up tactically using cards. Very difficult, as it should be. Almost impossible win to win, as it should be. Or Churchill would have won it, right? They got defeated. They got backed off. Very fun little game. This is like a $28 game. Yeah. So, but use that code. You'll get a percentage off there. They also have some great solo games. Um, they did a couple recently smaller games by Sebastian Bay about... North Korea. Oh, yes. One was called DPRK. I can't remember the other game, but they've got a lot of different variety. They did Judean Hammer, yep, which, which was is a good fun, fun game. Their most recent game, Arabian Struggle, is on there. It's the same system as Judean Hammer. I think my favorite one of those was Zermatt, which oh, was my gosh, extremely yeah. good. A great, great game. So there's some uh, opportunities there. The, the only other uh, publisher that I need to mention. Uh, and then we'll just mention, but the Dietz Foundation, if you don't know the Dietz Foundation, they are a not-for-profit group, Jim Dietz, who their, their entire goal is to educate, right? Their games are trying to educate folks on the history. This was the first game that we played from them, 1979 Revolution in Iran by Dan Bullock. Yes. And a card-driven game. Some really interesting mechanics, especially for the American player who is 
has the CIA as an asset and can kind of infiltrate. Well, Very fascinating. Because you, you play as, you're not the Americans, right? Well, you're the, right, you're another... You're uh, the imperialists. Trying to fight. Like, that's like, or the conservative faction, whatever they call yes. it. But you use the you use the Americans. Yeah. But how much you use them is like, you. it's yep. so good. And I, I've heard that they are working on a second edition uh, of oh, this I mean, game. But yeah, this was this is su this is such a small little thin box. The game is so big. Yeah. It's such oh, yeah. a such a deep and rich game. Really, really impressive. I, I feel like this probably is Dan's finest game that I've played. Although I've played several that I very much enjoyed. I feel like this is his finest game. I think it's going to be this and then Blood and Treasure. Oh, that game's if, so if amazing. it retains that name. But they've also made some changes to that, so I'm curious to play that again. I've heard a rumor that Fort Circle Games is going to publish Blood and Treasure. And you remember those big chess pieces? Oh. They're, they're going to be in the game. Because that was... Yeah, okay. they, they, it was amazing. To see that please, board... Please, include that. And have those chess pieces just was... Was it, phenomenal. It's such a like thematic, thematic. signal. Yep. Agreed. Oh, so good. So those are all of our codes. We thank those publishers that gave those codes, ranging from ten percent to thirty percent off. Very much appreciated that. But now we have kind of some other games uh, to cover. Yeah, just and these are ones where we're just like we also games. just like they came out this year and then we played and we're just like fun. Yes, and it's easy to kind of just quickly recommend some of these. Yeah. So we got Warfighter Vietnam, uh, and you will hear endlessly about this game from me. Well, we've played what three scenarios, and we're gonna. I, I'd like to and play. haven't really come close. Oh, to we winning. we've been destroyed. Uh, this is an incredibly difficult solo and or co op game. Have you tried it solo? Uh, I haven't done this one solo. Okay, yet. I've got it set up. I just haven't got around to playing are, are, are it. Are you going to do just the core game or any of the expansions? I am just doing the core game. Okay. I'm going to try it solo. Because, you know, I sometimes I struggle with the rules. You're better at the rules than I am. However. I've got to figure that out. The rules are much better. They redid the rules for this. Yep. And they're really good. Yep. Especially comparatively. Yeah, but I'm this is now available on their brand new website. Like, we've played this a whole bunch. I cannot, like. So good. Like, I'm like, Yes. Well, what they've added to this, the couple elements they've added have really notched, ratcheted up yeah. the difficulty and the experience, Yeah, the th it's so good. DVGs very, very absolutely good. crushed it with that one. Uh, a couple of games from Revolution Games. Now, we just played this one. Yes. And I think that video dropped like a week ago yeah. with uh, Steve Carey, the designer. So this is Shiloh, the first day. Hex Encounter, Blind Sword System, American Civil War. Volume 11, and this was our first experience with the official Blind Swords system. We've played a couple of other games that use it. They're adjacent. Yeah. yeah. This was very, very Extremely good. Extremely good. In fact, I want to play this again because I, I know we picked a smaller scenario, but I, enjoy, I enjoyed it that much that I, I want to play it. Definitely want to play it again. Uh, this is Manila, The Savage Streets, 1945. This is an area impulse solitaire war game about the American retaking of the Philippines. So at the end of the war in, in the Pacific, 1945, they were uh, such a good game. Stalingrad advanced to the Volga was the first in the series. This is the second. Just so very good. Um, highly recommend. Uh, yeah, I'd this. recommend almost anything on Revolution's website. Yeah. They are an underrated war game company, I think, and they're an extremely good war game company. But I also think they, they really work hard to develop their games and make yes. them very playable. Those player aids are very good. The rules were very good. Didn't have a lot of questions. I've never struggled with any of their games. Yeah, uh, that's great. And you've played a couple of other smaller bagged games. Yeah. Iashima, I think, was yeah, one. Yeah, Last Battle Iashima, which is great for solo play. Um, and we played that game, Patton. It was Patton's Vanguard? Yes, that was a good game. That was really good. Very much enjoyed that. They also have, they did, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? They did, they did the dark... Oh, in a dark wood, or is it the dark, Dead, deadly, deadly woods? woods? Deadly woods, oh, yeah. which is the dark series from but the, GMT, but not yeah, not it's, named. It's Ted Race's bulge game using yeah. his dark. It's so good, but it is is so good. Uh, Rebel Fury from GMT Games. I believe this is still in print. Sincerely hope so because yeah. it's really good. This is an excellent, excellent American Civil War game. Low counter density, seriously about maneuver and getting into position. Very interesting mechanics, plays fairly quickly, and this has four different battles in the box. What's not to like? And by four, you of course mean six. 
Well, that's why I meant six. <laughs> Sorry. But this this is such a fun game. Yes. It's eminently playable. If you've never played an ACW game, this is really great. Entry point because it has so much in it, variety-wise. Yeah. But if you're an experienced war gamer, this will challenge some of your paradigm thinking. And like, even simply about like moving and then like attacking. In this one, it's like you just keep moving until like you're done. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's so good. It's so interesting. There, you need to do a paradigm shift. Lots, with the lots system. to consider here, and just great fun. Yeah, very much enjoyed by the Mark Herman. So you know it's good. Um, I've got Operation Bola Bank. I have not played this. This is from Snafu Design. So this is a game on kind of that Serbian uh, war in the early '90s, uh, but it's a solitaire design. So very, very cool. Really? Yeah, so this is Bosnia 91. Yep. Nikola oh, Sagini. Yeah, 94. I remember Nikola, watching this on TV. Yep. Nikola Sagini is the designer. It's in a poly bag. I just got this like a week ago. I'm going to, I need to shoot an unbagging and then I'm going to break it out and. Yeah, when you're done with this, I would definitely absolutely. Like to play then, that's for sure. We could probably actually play it together and kind of knock out two birds with one stone. But I, I also brought a couple of these Mike Lambo. <laughs> Books. Many of you out there are saying, well, I've known about these for years. Yes, you have. It took me a while to get to them. He has about 30 of these, no joke. And these are kind of the most recent two that I very much enjoyed. Lone Sherman, the Pacific, and Rifle Squad US at Omaha Beach. These are bought on uh, Amazon. They're like $25. So you just throw them in your cart. You're already on there. Yep. So it's very good solo games. They And there's a lot. There's like nine different scenarios in each one of these. So you get a lot for your your money. Speaking of Amazon, I bought War Stories Occupied France from Osprey Games on Amazon for like 35 or 40 bucks. That's, that's an excellent That would game. also make any list. It's, it's over there. It's just too far away, yeah. but that's... We have a video, I think, coming up soon on that one. Uh, we shot a video. Yes, it, it will make it on the channel at some point. I, I wrote some stuff about it on the blog, but it was just fun. It was, it was just, just interesting. Fun. And the reality of it is, I think it has, was it four different? Just three. Three. And we played it with David Thompson, the designer, but the truth of the matter is you make a couple different decisions at the beginning, that, get, that scenario is totally different. So it may only be three, but you're actually gonna get maybe seven, eight, nine, ten kind of unique plays out of it, and then it's gonna change every time no matter yeah. what you do. Or, because or of the way you it put works. it on the shelf, and then you come back a year later, and you're like, Ooh, oh, I don't remember. I, yeah. I forgot all the encounters. Yeah, v very good. I've got two more uh, games. This is from Osprey Games, um, General Orders, World War II. There's a review on the channel with this, yeah. my wife and I, designed by David Thompson. Very simple, abstract, World War II, Worker Placement War Game, which is something I've never heard before. But we very much enjoyed this. She very much enjoyed it. The cool thing about the game is that the board is double-sided. So on one side, you have the European theater, kind of an alpine uh, map, and then you flip it over and it's the Pacific. In the Pacific, they add little planes, which adds a new layer to it. Very much enjoyed this game. And this is like $25 on, very nice components on... Uh, Osprey. The other one I brought from White Dog Games, just because I very much enjoyed it this year, is Gift of the Nile, designed by Ben Madison. This is a States of Siege series game. This is brand new this year on Ancient Egypt. I mean, who doesn't want to play a game on Ancient Egypt? Right. And this has it all, right? You encounter Moses and the Israelites, and you enslave them, and you have them do work for you. And when they finally break out, you lose some benefits, and then they're going to haunt you, and then Israel's going to be your enemy for the rest of the game. But very unique, very interesting, lots of history packed in here, and I very much enjoyed this. There are playthrough videos on the channel yes. on this one. So that was a lot of games in like yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, and, and there's like 10 trillion games out there yeah. that you could do, but I think these are ones which, generally speaking, are available right now. Yep. And um, are reasonably priced. Yes. That's well, most of those. And I think one other comment I would have about every single one of these games, if you can't for some reason get them because they're out, because maybe people have bought them from this list or, or because of the holidays, go to Noble Knight. My guess is they have a majority of these yeah. for sale. And as you know, Noble Knight uh, sponsors our channel and they're a great partner um, and you'll get but, them for yeah, a good price. Yeah, I would say don't wait. Yeah, don't wait. Because well, I, you'll probably see comments on this saying, it's oh, this is out of stock. Yeah. Because the people will have got there faster than you. And I hate to feed into that FOMO nonsense. Right. But like, 
it kind of yep. happens every year where <laughs> yep i'm like hey do, do this and they're like okay now we've got the codes it might be yeah. worse. well and, and these are good games too right yeah. these are not games that suck these are games that are good. Yeah, and people not, want yeah, them. Yeah, I'm not so, recommending something that's like trash. No. no. So yes, All right. hopefully uh, that is a helpful list. You can send this to your friends, send it to your family, or you can just buy it all yourself and yeah, then put, put like, it under the tree for yourself. From my mum. Yeah, on right. It. Uh, pretend or from that Santa she Claus. likes you. Or even put like from Grant and Alexander. I'd be okay. I'll take the heat. Uh, honestly, I'll yes. I'll take the heat. The, uh, Yes, you fully have my permission to put and if, that. If someone does that, please take a picture. Send a picture because I would love to see that. They twisted my uh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. put right like, now, Alexander. They're jerks from the players' age. Yeah, we'll 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 take the heat for that. Absolutely. Spend too much money. We're willing to take a bullet for it. Go you. for it. That's how committed we are to because this hobby. Because that's the thing with discount codes. That means you have more money to spend on more games. Absolutely. Think, think about it that way. Isn't that the way we're? talk to about sales with yeah. others in our life, right? I think I so. saved $25. Well, how much did you spend? That doesn't matter. I saved $25. I saved $25 so that I can it's spend 25 more. more dollars. Absolutely. It's, but, it's just that I need to spend $40 to get the free shipping. So yeah, it's actually going to be four, but I go. still save $25. Or a hundred sometimes <laughs> to get that free shipping. <laughs> but it's a crock. So I apologize what we've done to you and your wallets, but Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I've been Alexander with PlayersAid.com. And I'm Grant.